Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Yesterday I uploaded a very short video clip on the non-invasive boat mod uh, on the DS64, which is actually a variable uh, voltage uh, controller whereby you can actually vary the voltage. Uh, uh, definitely I'll be doing more um, in-depth study on that and testing. Right, please don't do it for, uh, to your own unit now because I'm not too sure whether it will actually cause any damages to the unit. Uh, of the DF64. So currently I would suggest you just be patient, watch my video and see what I can find out uh, because uh, I have, I'm actually the seller of DF64 so I'm, I can actually uh, repair my own machine so that's not an issue. So if there's ever a damage uh, to my DF64, I can be uh, responsible for my own machine. So, um, but as a consumer, you may just want to pause and wait and see uh, my results before you actually get on to uh, do something to your own machine. So that's my suggestion at the moment and uh, Today I'm also going to bring you around my new shop So just in a moment you'll be seeing uh, my shop space currently still uh, Quite a lot of empty spaces here and there because I'm still doing quite a bit of uh, shipping in of uh, my stock as well as uh, placing my demonstration units on the counter so but I'm just going to bring it around to show you how, how the uh, setup looks like and what are my uh, plan for my shop. So let's go. Alright, so as you can see, this is actually the entrance. Uh, the door is actually pretty wide, so it allows me to bring my uh, pallet to be transported directly to the storage space over there. And as you can see, as you enter, we have a welcoming space here, which is temporarily holding on to all my coffee beans. Right, these are my coffee beans here. Uh, just arrive and uh, this will be my storage of coffee beans and this um, supposed to be used at the back of your car and I find extremely useful because I don't have to open the top trunk I can simply open here and access to whatever I need in inside uh, currently I'm uh, storing all these um, things I need in the future for selling all my coffee beans in individual packaging so you can see that it's very convenient and you can lock back easily okay just with a slight uh, uh, push button here, you can lock it back and you can retrieve your things from the center and you don't have to access to the top. So I can effectively stack up all these to the top, whereby if I need the individual bins, I can just uh, retrieve them. So currently this is my temporary store because uh, I do not want my coffee bean to be under the sun. And this will be probably my display counter. Right, currently this is my Bassetto. Uh, BAEO2, right? This is actually a dual boiler version, so called dual boiler, but it's actually double thermal block. Uh, currently, you can see that my shop is pretty empty, and I have also moved in another machine, which is the Lilith Marax. We will be uh, selling this model as well. So, uh, there will be uh, three models of uh, Lilith that will be selling, which is the Bianca, Lilith Marax, and the Elizabeth. So, currently, our stock is arriving very soon. And uh, you can see that I have already divided my counter space. This will be my probably my China espresso machine counter. I can probably paste about three to four machines here. And moving over, this will be my Italian section. The entire length here will be Italian because I have more Italian uh, coffee machines. And moving to the other side, this is actually an L-shaped uh, uh, showroom whereby I can actually place more machine over on this side. I can probably place another two of these IKEA uh, shelf, uh, the 8x2x4 uh, by by shelf, which I got it yesterday at the Black Friday sale. It only cost me about Singapore dollars, $99, which is very very sweet deal. I probably will be getting another two uh, of this and to place it over here. Right, I'm still thinking of what should I do with the top shelf, right? I Maybe I'll to put some um, shelf there to pla place all my stuff, but I try not to do anything to the wall, right? Because this is a rented unit. And you can see that this brings me to the balcony area, right? Currently, I have no access to the balcony, but in the future, I will. Once my tenant here moves out, I'll be, I'll be having access to the balcony. And uh, this will be a common space, right? So this area is pretty cozy. I'll probably put out a bookshelf here whereby I'll store my coffee books. I can do some studies. And uh, in the future, I will be placing my coffee roaster here, right? It will just be for demo. I'm not too sure I'll be roasting here. But let's see how it goes. And this is a very beautiful all the way from the top down window. Right, and as you can see from the outside, this is an industrial area, but it's pretty uh, much infested with vegetations. So uh, it's pretty green here. And uh, not a fantastic view, but at least uh, 
I have I can see the sky without any blockage. So this will be probably my second office. Um, I'm still planning what to do here because it has a natural lighting. And if, as you can see here, these are wall structures, right? Uh, ceiling is very, very high. I think it's at least three meters tall. So this will definitely be my storage of my uh, coffee machines. Um, this will probably pretty much be filled up very quickly. And uh, if I move over here to the other side, I can have another windows all the way to the ceiling. Three big panels window, natural lighting, it's very nice. And this will be my work desk. I'll be placing my work desk here. Uh, also my uh, service counter, right? This is a fridge where it's needed because I need to do the latte. And uh, I'm still thinking of what do I do put on top of the uh, fridge. Can I actually put things on top of the fridge? This one I have to find out. I'm not so sure yet. So pretty much this is what you see in my new shop plus showroom plus storage. Uh, not a very big area, but it's I think just nice and cozy for me at the moment. And you can see that I'm actually unboxing another machine, right, which is actually the EM23 espresso machine. This one, I believe, is still the um, vibratory pump. Uh, I have the EM30 sitting there, right, so I'll be opening this up today. And uh, I will not be showing the unboxing because I'm here alone and I did not have my camera tripod here at the moment. So at the moment, I'll just be, uh, okay, I'll try to place my camera somewhere. So that it gives you a better view of the unboxing. So let's get started to this. So this one I want to bring over there to place next to my all my uh, Chinese machine. Right. So let's look at this one here. All right. So I'll be opening this machine. So it's a very very heavy machine. Um, it's a PID adjustable temperature. Uh, made in China under the brand of Molesto. So this is actually the cover which I'm going to throw away. Comes with the accessory box. Um, quite a lot of styrofoam and this is actually the wood edition which actually uh, the side panels are actually in wood which I will take it out and show you shortly right as you can see this is the molesto right that's the brand and this particular model is the EM 23 right comes with a, a adjustable steam one here I believe there's a handle here whereby I can engage the lever system. I think this is the switch on and off button. And let me remove the brew head. Uh, the cover this with a piece of uh, cotton bag. So let me just unwrap it so that to show you how it looks like. So technically this is the what we call the saturated brew group. And uh, it's pretty nice. I think I'm not too sure whether they are I think they are LED lights at the bottom. So, and uh, it's pretty nice finishing at the side. This is the steam one. Uh, I think, I'm not too sure whether this is a multi-functional steam one whereby I can get hot water. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, you can see here it's actually the steam. So I'm not too sure whether you can get hot water from this system here. So technically this is a EM23, uh, PID adjustable temperature. So you can actually set all your temperature here. I will not be starting the machine today. I'll just be doing an un un unboxing and show you the outlook. Okay, so technically this is the EM33 from Molesto, vibratory pump, adjustable PID temperature, which is an upgrade from your uh, EM19M3 and EM20. Right, so this is what you get from the Molesto, which is a very well-built machine. The wood finishing is uh, very, very good. And uh, yeah, side panels are all wood. Uh, very nice finishing wood. Uh, the, the switch on and off button is also in wood. I believe the handle here, which I can install, is also made of wood. So pretty good and pretty nice. And I have another machine there to unbox, which I'll do it later, probably another day. This is the EM30. I'm very excited about this machine here. Right. So this is UI once again. Thank you for joining me today. It's pretty exciting because finally I got my own shop my own the uh, showroom and uh, yep this will be a very exciting journey for me in the world of espresso as we are dealing with uh, more and more espresso machines so i think the natural lighting here is really good and uh, i can do a lot of videos here and uh, of course i'll still be doing video at home but uh, this will be a very good place for me to do video i do not have i do not need any additional lighting these are all natural light from the big windows over there 
So it's going to be very awesome and uh, I'm going to really have fun here. So this is CY once again. If you have not subscribed to my channel, right? My channel is all about having fun making coffee. Of course, while having fun, I have to make some profit too. So uh, that's what happened when coffee take over your 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 life and make it, make, make it become like a mis business. So that's what I'm actually doing now. So uh, thank you for joining me, right? If you have not subscribed to my channel, remember to do uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my video. But if you don't like my video, right, uh, I can't do anything about it if you do an unlike, but uh, I just can't do anything about it. But I hope you can like my video and I'll see you in the next video where I do more modification and more study on this guy here. Right, so this is the one I'm going to play around with, right, the variable voltage controller. So once again, thank you for joining me and have a nice day and stay safe and see you in the next video.